Yeehaw! It's future time! I don't know what's going on! Ooh, that's a hot mug, guys! Hey guys, this is my review for episode one of Westworld season three. Some of you guys followed me through my first season review. I stopped about halfway through the second season because I didn't know what the fuck was going on anymore and seeing neither did the writers because that last episode is just a joke. And it's made ever prevalent when you watch the recap of the first two seasons. They barely talk about any of the cryptic wubbada hubbada hubbada hootie that was in the last season. The last season really soured a lot of people and they seem to be kind of really deviating away from that because this season almost has nothing to do with it except for the fact that Dolores is still kind of hell-bent on destroying the human race or becoming a godlike figure. Bernard is there and everything else seems to be its own entity. We're seeing some new characters in this particularly Aaron Paul. They actually spent a lot of time with him and the world building. I like this version of the future. It kind of reminded me of a different variation of Gotham City from Batman Beyond. Obviously way less neo-punk tech look and still really cool. I liked the idea that there's like GTA missions on an app and the kind of the combination between future tech as well as robot buddies. But then there's this little tongue thingy that apparently is a simulation for helping you sleep. I have a feeling there's going to be some sort of pinky and the brain Christmas special episode mind control technique thingy used at the end. Something along this line. This this tongue thingy is going to be important. However, the thing that this episode didn't do at all really is explain what the fuck is actually happening. Bernard's story is just so completely irrelevant except for the fact that we realize there's two of him in one. We see that Dolores is definitely a woman of her own. We see that she's able to take care of herself and we see that she's striving for money, power, and the ability to create her own army essentially. Whereas Nothing else, really. Definitely the primary focus of this episode was to show off what the world is, to show off what we are going to be going into, considering we are not really going back to Westworld, except it looks like the second episode is going to go back to Westworld. So I did like that they took this time to establish the world. I really hope, so that they've spent way more time establishing characters and actually giving us a plot, because there's no plot so far really established. It's always been cryptic with Westworld, but at least you kind of had a idea of the direction they're going this all we know is that Dolores wants revenge she wants to take back what she feels was taken from her from humanity and she wants to be the rightful ruler of them that's cool but you gotta give us a little bit more than that I just really hope that they've learned their lesson from season two because I heard this rumor that while they were coming into the post-production of season two Someone online basically predicted how the season was going to end, so they went back and they wrote it differently just because someone had predicted it. And even though he still hasn't finished his books yet, Mr. Martin even has said that you shouldn't do this. Even if they predict it, go the course. Don't change it because someone's predicted it because that's not how the story should go. If you have it this way, keep it this way. It doesn't matter if people have predicted it. People predicted that Jimmy Smith and Ed Harris were the same character by the third episode of the first season, so it's not a biggie thing. Just please write it well. Anyways, I'm going to give this episode a 3 out of 7. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, maybe subscribe. Otherwise, we'll see if I actually keep going, because last time I hopped out because it just got really stupid. I'm hoping it doesn't again, but no guarantees. But I don't have anything else to do because Corona! Anyways, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.